Greetings, football lovers. Welcome to another episode of Ball Chat. I'm your host, Benton. Back in the building, Kevin. How yes, are you doing, sir? sir? Fine, glad to be here. And, and Biggs, how are you doing? Well, I'm here now, here as usual. And come on, how are you? I'm good. Um, you know, nice to hear your voice and, and nice to be back in the building. You know, thank you guys for holding it down last week. Well, I, well, I, I um, watch a look at ED at Atlanta United side, which was a banner raising Sunday, but we'll get to that. So for foot, football lovers, this week we're going to review football news and football as always. We're going to start off with our ballers and bugs segment. Ballers being the best players of the week and our bugs the most unimpressive player. And then we're going to segue from ballers and bugs to football in Europe and then football in the Americas. We're going to try to hit some of the major points in those different um, regions of football. And then wrap up with our, our power ranking. But to kick the show off, Kevin, I know this last week you said that come on, I always copy you or steal your notes. So go ahead, Kevin. Who do you have as your ball of the week? My ball of the week is uh, Swansea Football Club. <laughs> Swansea. <laughs> Swansea. Go ahead, elaborate on why Swansea is your ball of the week, what? We saw where Swansea beat Man City. <laughs> Unfortunately, the referees had something else to say. Yes, the referee thought otherwise. So Swansea lost that game 3-2. They were exceptional. They lost that game 3-2. Two, two, oh gosh, we'll get to that regarding VAR and Swansea. Two outside goals scored by Manchester. Well, one outside goal scored by Manchester City. Go ahead, goal for Sergio Aguero. And the penalty that was quite suspect that was given for Ryan Sterling allegedly foul in the box. So, Swansea's football club is, is um, Kevin's ball of the week. Come on. Who is your ball mm-hmm. of the week? Come on. Chicharita is my ball of the week. He scored in the 84th minute and the 90th minute to bring his team to a 4-3 victory. So, he is my ball of the week. So, um, the Mexican national, Chicharita, uh, they defeated Huddersfield, right? West right. Ham? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they uh, Huddersfield, yeah. boy. Huddersfield. Boy, how the mighty has fallen. If Chicharito get ball of the week, to beat Huddersfield. Beat in Huddersfield. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just beating Huddersfield. It's how he did it. Scoring in the 84th and the 90th minute. In the 94th. Yeah, they, they were struggling to, to make amends because Huddersfield took that 2-0 lead. And so West Ham mm-hmm. came back to... 3-1 lead. Yeah, to turn, turn the game around. Um, Biggs. Your ball of the week, boss. Ryan Bubble had his Joe name at moment. He just didn't complete it by at least getting a point against Liverpool. Ryan, R- Ryan Bubble earlier in the week, he said from Fulham, said, I know Virgil van Dijk's weakness. Yes. And I promise you, I was ready to kill him when he did, if he didn't score. And yes. give it to him, he scored. Yes. And van, van Dijk had an error. And he, he capitalized on it. Yes. So the man was true to his word. Yes, he said he know that his... Um, it's kind of a bit uh, suspicious, though. He said, I know uh, Virgil van Dijk's weakness, but yeah. it seems like throughout the game, he was reluctant to... He, never, he didn't want to do anything to do with Virgil van Dijk. <laughs> <laughs> but the man scored. And I uh, promise you, I was ready to kill him. And then, interestingly, Ryan Barber says, I'm a Liverpool fan. I, and, and, I, and I have to give him ratings so he didn't celebrate that goal. <laughs> yeah, he yeah. scored, put up his hand, and just say, oh, let's keep him. Let's keep him moving. Yeah. Former player of um, Liverpool. Liverpool yeah. But now at Fulham, you know, Liverpool defeated Fulham 2-1 today. Liverpool now goes the top of the EPL. Um, my ball of the week is Brian Lozano. Brian Lozano of Santos Lugano. Brian Lozano, Santos Lugano defeated New York Red Bulls 6-2 on aggregate in the CONCACAF Champions League quarterfinal matchup. And Brian Lozano scored two, well, one magnificent goal. Man scored a goal from midfield. You know, he saw Robles, the New York Red Bulls goalkeeper, pulling out of his um, six-yard box, and he kicked the ball from midfield. Wicked, absolute fantastic goal. Check it out on YouTube. That's such a simple kick, too. Simple kick. It was just like nothing. Yeah, it was, it was just like nothing. It was just like nothing. <laughs> Easy. So that's my ball. He's my ball of the week. Now, the segue from our ball of the week to our bugs of the week. Kevin, who you have as your bug of the week? Chelsea. As usual. Not, not, to, send, not to send anything else. <laughs> Don't have to send it to go. You don't have to tell why Chelsea's your bug of the week. Just one big point on why Chelsea's your bug of the week. All right. So I guess 
if you've watched Ball Chat or listened to the podcast over the last, what, 33 episodes for this season, yeah, it's a recurring theme. Chelsea has nobody to score. Uh, Hazard, who um, Real Madrid is going to run down and overpay for, dribble, 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 and kick some baby shots. Yeah. The yeah. Brazilians, who they like to give the ball along with Mr. Alonso for kicking 35 feet, they can't, or 35 yards out of pass, they cannot do them primary job as a defender. Yeah, defenders, yeah. That, I mean, need, always, I, need, yeah. I, need I go more? Jorginho is the king of back passes. Yes, yes. Do I, should I continue? I mean, it's, it's, it, it is one like patty it. shop or dolly house or a bag of food. Just all of the above. Chelsea. All of the above at, at Chelsea. Come on. Mm-hmm. Let's Kevin go with Chelsea as, your bug, as his bug of the week. I wonder who is your bug of the week. I'm going to copy him today. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I, I absolutely agree. Chelsea is my bug of the week. Everybody for Chelsea, not only the players. See Sorry, next time I write my notes as me. On the sidelines. It was just ridiculous to me. Bug. <laughs> and Chelsea lost 2-0 to an impressive Everton. But I didn't even know if Everton was that impressive <laughs> or Chelsea was that bad. <laughs> Which says a lot about at the rate Chelsea is going. I know they're 13 points above Wolves in the sixth position, the EPL. I doubt that Chelsea will fall out of that sixth spot for the Europa League. They have it secured. <laughs> but by default. <laughs> <laughs> and then and, and Biggs. Yeah. Who is your bug of the week, boss? What, what is Champions League final. It's the month of April, right? right. And the Champions League final like, is April. So from April or about April, May. Yeah. May 2018. I think it's June 1st. Or June. That's the June. It's, it's, June 2018. Yeah. Right? Real Madrid lost Cristiano Ronaldo mm. as in a dean to that. Right? Everything will be fine. We move on. We are a bigger team. All the Hala Madrid fans. We are a bigger team. Hala Madrid. Hala Madrid. A couple months later, Real Madrid is back to square one. Yes. They Went back and got back. Isn't that easy? That. No, if Real Madrid was in England and getting them head beat off from these English teams, they would have been the Chelsea. So Real Madrid is the bug of the week, bug of the month, bug of the half season, bug of the year so far for me. Because I'm sure that you cannot, you, you basically gave up your rights as a club to one man, Zidane Zidane. He played his cards right. As it done, basically took the rug from under their feet. Say, go ahead and, and sink, and I'll come back and save. And I'll come back as a god. <laughs> so, Real Madrid, Florenta oh, oh, the, Perez, and Real Madrid is your bug of the week. Down to the rock, them were run through the, run through the, the stadium. Yeah. Everybody bug of the week. And so, Real Madrid is on their third coach for the season. One, um, Julian Lopetegui, Solari, and now Zenedi Zidane, the return of the king. A guy who's well loved at Real Madrid. Yeah. We'll see what will transpire in the off season. But Real Madrid won, defeated Celta Vigo, and um, Al Garrett Bale was impressive. The who, first game of Zidane's return. So. Who won by Koto? <laughs> who bought Koto? Chelsea is looking to oh acquire back. <laughs> it was a good buy on Real Madrid's part, you know. It's a good buy on Chelsea's part. <laughs> it was a good. No, I mean to, to get. Cotua, especially coming off the World Cup that he did for $35 million. You see how much the other goalkeepers are getting? It was a great buy. It's an inflated price because you cannot tell me that Kepa is worth $78 million that Chelsea paid for him. So do you think that Kepa is worth $50 million more than, 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 than Cotua? Do you think Do you think Real Madrid needed a keeper to go buy Cotua? No, I don't. Right. I don't think they needed Kaelin Liverpool Harris. needed a keeper. Kaelin Harris Chelsea was a needed a keeper. Club. Did River, Real Madrid need a keeper? Yes. Oh, you crazy. Yeah, I, I disagree on you. But yeah, I understand. They played a lot of companies. There were some errors made by Kaelin Navas last year. So that's why they went out and got caught up. But I think you stick with Kaelin. I mean, that guy was really impressive in the thing. A Champions I mean, League winner. A Champions League winner, yeah. Yes, but he's an older goalkeeper. Yeah. yeah. But bug, bug of the week, Real Madrid. I'm looking forward to seeing the try in the offseason. Sterling. Get yourself ready. You might be going to Real Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> My book of the week is the English FA, the Football Association of England. And the reason why I give them the book of the week this week is that Swansea and this whole foolishness of VAR being present at some venues in the FA Cup. And because of the lack of VAR, Swansea is now out of the FA Cup. And you cannot tell these people sorry. It was just unfortunate. There's a lot of money on the line. 
yet if easily you have the VAR at all the venues or you don't have it at any of the venues. Well, I'm curious to know who makes that decision. <laughs> so they, the clubs voted on it along with the AFA. No, and, no, no. For the team, if a team wants to have VAR or not. So the clubs voted on it in the off season, and there was a pushback from two main clubs, Manchester United and Chelsea. Mm-hmm. All right, there was a pushback for um, the PGMOL, the Professional Game Match Officials Association that runs overseas the officials in England, said that they they were reluctant to bring so many of their personnel off the field to man the television sets for those games. So it's in collaboration with the the coaches, the, not the coaches, the team owners, and the football association voted on, on this uh, decision. Um, so the English FA is my bug of the week. Is either you have it or you don't have it. Um, to segue from ballers and bugs to football in Europe, champion lead football. Champions League football draw took place on Friday. And before we get into the matchups for the next round, just a final quick wrap up of the last round, the games that played out this week. What's your major takeaway? Come on, what's your major takeaway from the games that played out this week? For the Champions which, which any, game? I'm sorry. Anyone, your big takeaway from the Champions League game this week? Um, was, was, was what I expected. I mean, no, nothing. you said Bayern four one Liverpool. It's not what you expected. The what? You said Bayern four one Liverpool. That's not what you expected. Yeah, listen, I said um four one whatever Bayern. <laughs> Maybe I did. <laughs> <laughs> we had the team. But, but listen, nothing was really out of it. I mean, well, maybe Juventus is, you know, 3-0 over Atletico Madrid was kind of like something I never expected. I thought Atletico Madrid would put up at least a little bit of fight. Yes. Um, the Bayern Liverpool, you're right, Kevin, I stand corrected. It wasn't what I expected, but, uh, you know, the ball is round. All right, Biggs. Your big takeaway from this week's game, and I and to you brought up CR seven. Come on, I'm surprised no one had CR seven as the ball of the week for them. No, yeah, CR seven did what CR seven does. Okay, all right. But sorry, Messi go. proved that. No care how old they are, genius is genius. Genius is it's genius. Gen- yeah, big up Barcelona Messi. defeated Leon five one. Even though that first, the first goal, which was a penalty, was a not a penalty. But um, after that, VAR again. Yeah, it's just a bunch of foolishness. Kevin, your major takeaway from the games actually a transfer this week. Um, it's par for the course. Okay. Uh, you know, I I I thought that Atletico would have shown more something else, but I mean, again, you have was going home and they have CR seven, so you know, I you know, and then I was a little bit nervous about Bayern. And especially seeing how Ribery early was uh, giving uh, sure Arnold well, yeah. more than he can handle. Uh-huh. A couple of salads just of him left on the wing a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, Salah had to be back constantly on that wing to help defend. Come on. Yeah, and um, so, you know, but what you know is that nobody father time is undefeated so while Ribery was doing all of that by second half he would have to be off the field or boss yeah he would be out so Sadio Mane's by the way Sadio Mane's goal that first strike was impressive the way I mean of course Manuel New York shouldn't have ran out of the goal but the way he calmly just chipped that ball into the back of the net was impressive to then transfer from the on the field play to the draw on Friday the matchups for the next round Liverpool will play, how comes Liverpool always get these easy draw? Liverpool will play Porto, Manchester United plays Barca, mm-hmm. the winner of that will meet in the, those two matchups will we meet in the semi-final, Ajax will play Juventus, and then in the other matchup, Spurs versus City, and the winner of those two matchups will meet in the semi-final. Early thoughts, these games will be played out on April 9th and 10th in the first leg, and then the following week, couple of weeks after that, return leg. Early thoughts. Did you see the draw that Liverpool got early in the group stages? What do you mean, always get these easy games? Yeah, they were, they were in a tough group. My apologies, Liverpool. <laughs> I somehow remember they, they, they played Roma last year in the, this knockout in this round, right? So that was also an easy draw. Yes, but again, the group stages again last year was what? Okay, it was tough. All right. All right. Come on. Your early initial thoughts on the matchups for the next round. 
I, you know, Tottenham, I just think Tottenham is unlucky. I would have preferred for them to get Manu. Because I don't see them beating Man City if Man City has a good game. Ajax, I think, will give Juventus a little bit more fight than Atletico Madrid. And then Barcelona is going to beat the brakes. I mean, everything off of Man U, both legs. <laughs> Barcelona going to rub a stamp Manchester United. Is this what you're saying? <laughs> yes, and I send them back home. <laughs> Bigs, everybody, your point. Uh, she can say what she wants to say about that Barca game, but everybody prepare for goals in both those legs. Yeah. On on the right side of the bracket, the Liverpool Liverpool is going to score a lot of goals. Barca Manu is going to be a lot of goals. I expect at least twelve goals in that t- between those two yeah. legs. On the other side, expect some Bob Marley games. Exactly. Juventus is going to park the bus. They are going to park, put a cement wall. They're going to do everything in front of Ajax. Cause Ajax is going to ball them. Okay. And City is City. Tottenham is Tottenham. What more can I say? Kevin. I think the City Tottenham game is going to be one for the ages. Yeah. Tottenham is going to throw all their eggs in this one basket. This is this is all Tottenham is playing for at this point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're not in 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 any other competition. This is it. This is all they are playing for. Yeah. <laughs> Fight for top four. Uh, the top four is secure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so uh, you just made a very good point, Kevin. You know, City's competed in four, well, for four trophies. Will that level of competition in different in different um, leagues affect them in this run-in? I told you that same argument a month ago. You remember your rebuttal? Yeah. You know, and you see the struggle against Swansea. Yeah. I mean, at some point the rubber meets the road. I understand. It'll be it'll be heralded mm-hmm. if he lifts fourth trophy for the season. Mm-hmm. But at the risk of what? Yeah. You know, some of these games you can't compete so hard for some of these trophies. Yeah. And I see him do it time and time again. Even when he played in the EFL Trophy with Chelsea, he had how many guys out there running for 120 minutes? But this is why he has pretty much built what two, two, two squads. Two squads, yeah. For for, for for this sort of running. Are you convinced that they have two squads out there? Yes. I am convinced that he has twenty four players. Now they're really first team material. That's the issue. Riyad Mahrez is definitely not carrying his weight. When Fernando when Fernandinho play, what does the squad look like? Don't play. What does the squad look like? Yeah. They, they, but they've been winning without him recently. They've been winning without him necessarily, and they need him back as quickly as possible for that run in because they cannot go into those matchups against Spurs without him, I envision. Um, come on, any any other takeaways from um, from these Champions League draw? No, nothing else. Nothing Apart else. from Junior, your side going down. <laughs> Now come on, I would make will I will advise a tad bit of caution because this is a Manchester United that went to Paris and beat the highly touted PSG. Come on. I mean, surely yeah, Manchester yeah, United. Yes, PSG without their best player. And Which, then the second best player was put on the pitch, what, in the 80th minute? Yeah, but Mbappe, there's argument to be made that Mbappe is probably the best player at PSG. Come on. But he's but he's only one person. I don't. I, he's only one person. I I think the outcome would have been different if they ha- they had Neymar on the pitch and Cavani in the starting lineup. I, I am I am willing to argue that if Neymar played both legs, PSG wouldn't stand a chance against Manchester United. And I'm willing to argue right now if Messi feels like he's back to ten years ago and go on the right wing against Manchester United, we have a fighting chance. Now if he stays in the middle and play in between the creases between the central defender and the central midfielder, Manchester United has no chance. But speed kills. Barcelona is slow. They are deadly. They have skill. They have a dinosaur that is a baller, a legendary baller. But they are slow. So you are, you're, you're implying that if Messi goes on the right wing against a Shaw matchup? Yes. Come yes. on, Messi is not Mohamed Salah, man. Right. That man, they have the money that they're fucking like. All right. Hey, we will see. It's, it's you know, April so 9th. It's April 9th and 10th, ball chat and football lovers, we will break these games down as they get closer to the matchup. It will be more watering matches. Yep. That's for certain. And, you know, Porter is definitely looking at chops to play Liverpool. Klopp is already on record said, you know, we know what they will bring when they face us. So, you know, we're looking forward to those matchups. And then to segue from Champions League 
A matchup, and just to quickly get your thoughts on the Europa League, the big matchup that's coming down the pipe, it seems to be an Arsenal versus Napoli. Napoli Arsenal turn over that um, deficit against Rennes in the first leg. Abonian, Abonian, Abo scored what two or three yeah, goals? Scored two, two goals. Two, two, Wakanda two. forever. You saw he put on his Wakanda mask <laughs> after scoring the goal. I mean, surely Napoli will beat um, Arsenal. I don't surely? Think so. I don't. I don't think so. Did you say surely? Surely Napoli will beat Arsenal. Surely your name must be Shirley. Of course they can. Of course Napoli's gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> the sly old fox, Carlo Angelotti. <laughs> so, but but come on, and I want to hear you get to speak on this. Does Arsenal have an advantage here with this? The Europa League manager, you know, Una Emery, this is his league. He's won it, I think, two or three times of late with um, Sevilla. And he's very astute in this league. You know, do you think he give Arsenal an advantage running for this trophy? Actually, no, you know, because th- Arsenal is Arsenal. You don't know what you're going to get with them. You get a good game this week, and next week you're looking at them and like, what are you doing? So Napoli has been playing good football. Arsenal has been coming, you know, into their own the past couple of games. But I really see Napoli pulling this one out. Okay. And, and to wrap up on the Europa League quickly, does Chelsea win this thing they play um slavia prava if i'm pronouncing that name properly it's somebody an easy match but with chelsea we don't know i don't think chelsea is winning anything <laughs> so chelsea's not winning anything nothing no, Ch- no chelsea should win but as you said with this chelsea team who make everton beat them we don't know what we're going to get if they're not challenged if they get challenged then the guys will say yo summertime summertime yeah all right and then, so that's it from the Europa League and the Champions League draws. Now, the segue, and just quickly talk about some EPL news and EPL wrap roundup this week. Liverpool retake the top spot, you know, of the EPL. Of course, they're, they're a game ahead of Man City. Your main takeaways from this week's EPL game, there was competition with FA Cup matches. Your main takeaway from the EPL games this week. I mean, West Ham, there was nothing I, that really I, I didn't. Out. I, I didn't have any takeaways. Um, Except for the Chelsea game, and I spoke about that. I really don't want to give that that team anymore. <laughs> they don't get Chelsea. Out. But Liverpool made their intentions clear today. Made their intentions. Because they could have easily draw that game. Let me ask you a question: With, with Liverpool squad, and there is, is is a thin squad. You know, playing a Fulham, you have Mohamed Salah, Firmino, and um, Sadio Mane. Do you need those front three against a Fulham? Yes, because I told you all year that Liverpool's problem is their Achilles heel. And they have shown you the stats that over these top four teams, no other team has such a deficit between the front three that scores and how much goals they help in the midfield sh- helps and show it. And with the addition that throughout the year, Liverpool been having devastating injury after injury to the defense, the defense, the defenders. Yeah. So they have to... The, the midfielders, while not all that dynamic anyway mm-hmm. are more of a holding help with the defenders so they don't score enough goals okay. so you, 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 you need their presence if you want to score it's presence. not a situation where we have Mourinho sitting down on the goal score one goal and part the bus it's not that it's not that come on your, your major takeaway from this weekend EPL games there weren't many matches other than uh, Chelsea lost <laughs> Chelsea sucks. <laughs> um, Sorry needs to scoot. He needs to. He needs to go. I don't think Sorry is the man for this. Um, this I don't this. think Sorry is the man for this. This, this team. I don't, I don't. I don't. I don't see it working out. I see him leaving at the end of the season. So, che- just told me that Chelsea suck, and they probably save Marcus Silva's job today. Mm-hmm. But it's just ridiculous. And. And then to segue to Marco Silva, is 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 Marco Silva pretty much safe now at Everton? He's done well against um, Liverpool. I mean, he defeated Chelsea. I mean, should Marco Silva pretty much given another year to see what he can do with this Everton setup? I, I don't I, I don't think so. You don't think so? It's smoke and mirrors. Everybody go through peaks and valleys. Peaks but his his valleys are. Fishers. Yeah. When they drop, they drop. And do. When they drop, they drop. Yeah, do you yeah, see but, them but getting like, better? Yeah, but it's Everton. You know, it's, it's like Everton. They're not world beaters. You know, they're not Everton. We don't, we don't think about Everton winning the league 
I mean, we don't think about Everton being relegated either. They're like a, a good mid um, table team. So I think if they want to move on and celebrate the team and have them gel, um, I think they should keep him. They I spend so. all this money, keep the players, so next year he knows what he's working with. I don't think they should fire him. Yeah, that's I think the so. problem with that's the problem with even with Chelsea. It's like we can't keep a coach. From someone who's you asking have to have your and tribulation. Come on. Come on, make up your mind and decide which fence, you, which part of the fence you're going to stay on. This, that is the same thing with Chase, uh, Chelsea, but you, you're every day asking for sorry to be fired. But, but, that's, the, but that's the difference, though. Silver same or the difference? Which one? Can, sorry. No, Silver is a, Silver can manage. He can man manage. Listen, Chelsea is a title winner. They're title winners, right? I mean, Champions League. Chelsea is a big, big club, bigger than Everton. We're not supposed to have this issue. We're supposed True. to struggle like, oh, we're struggling. Yes. Yeah, so if you can see the, co the coach, sorry, he does not have a clue. And you know why I know he doesn't have a clue? Today, Georgina did nothing, and he kept him on for 74 minutes. No. And while we had William on the bench. <laughs> Come on, I've been telling you this all year, you know. I think you 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 giving sorry a raw deal. I, I'm telling sorry, you that yes, that I'm telling you that your side is not any good. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? And this is what we get when we have Kevin, a Liverpool fan, disrespecting Big Bad Chelsea. <laughs> so the standard is higher at Chelsea, and, and and rightfully so. You guys, as opposed to Everton, you guys have won you know many trophies, and and have. What I mean, the standard is high and live and won many trophies. When you say trophies, you talk over here. Yeah. Don't don't talk about Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> it's a truth, it's a talk in recent away. memory, Chelsea is between Chelsea and Manchester City pushing um, back and forth with the EPL. When last um, United, in fact, how is Liverpool going to talk and they haven't won the, the Premier League from it invented? Hey. Not, they won the top flight in 1990. I, mean, I was just going to say that. And I'm like, 1990 was 29 years ago. Liverpool, this year might be a year, but let's check. 2019. 2019 is very recent. <laughs> 2019, 2019 is very recent. Is very recent. <laughs> is counting on trophy before it even 2019 is very recent. So, quick, to get a quick thoughts on the FA Cup. You mentioned this earlier, Kevin. In the FA Cup matchup. The semi-finals are set. Um, it's a uh, what's a BHR uh, Brighton Hull versus City in the first matchups and uh, matchup on Watford versus Wolves. I mean, City they go with them, should go with be running away with it. You think so? Brighton Hove Albion just got regulated last year. Yeah, they're playing for something. Yeah. Yeah. We saw when City took Swansea easy and Swansea beat them. And the referee them decides to say they're more party. So VAR will be involved in all and you know, this. And you know, it just dawned on me to Brighton should be looking at this as a Europe opportunity. Of course. Because if they can slip, trip, fall and beat Man City, they should feel like they have a fighting chance in the finals. So they only have one big game out of, out yes, of, out yes, of three, definitely. possibly. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Watford versus Wolves. I mean, Wolves beat Manchester United. This game was even a competition. Yeah. Diego Jota almost killed. He salad Luke Shaw and scored that second goal. Oh, my God. He almost killed him. <laughs> <laughs> um, your thoughts on this um, semifinal, these FA Cup semifinal matchups? Uh, come on. Well, I expect City to whoop Brighton. I mean, like, whoop them. <laughs> And then between Watford and Wolves, it's kind of hard to, to kind of predict who will win because they play, I guess, the same level of football. Yeah. Uh, maybe Tridini, you know, is a little bit more rougher than the strikers and Wolves. But I, I think it's going to be, a, I think we're going to go all the way to penalties with okay. the Watford and, and Wolves. Thing. They played recently in the Premier League. Uh, uh, Watford beat Wolves. Okay. And try yeah, but they play, but, but they basically yes. play the same level of football. Yeah, they, yeah, they're, they're they're very similar. They're very very try similar. Dean is made for these moments. He's he lives yeah, for moments lives, like lives, this. Yeah. So both all you know the, these three teams, you know Brighton, Holmes, um, Watford, and Wolves will be. This is gonna be their only chance of a trophy. Yeah, this yeah. is it. This yeah. is it for them. And for Man City. You see how it's just, you know, one team looking for a whole bunch of trophies. And, and it might be in the middle of two big fixtures. That might be. But that is it. Know. That is it. I'm telling you, there's pressure on them. 
it's mounting steadily. Yeah, yeah. It's mounting steadily. You see the fear factor in, in their face yesterday? Yeah, they were worried. They were scared to death. They were rattled. Swansea rattled the heck out of them. Swansea rattled the heck out of them. All right. Wrapping up football in Europe quickly. Zid- Zinedine Zidane. How long will he last at Major this time? A lifetime contract. <laughs> <laughs> so Zidane is a- in return. He's back in at the helm. Won three Champions League as a coach. Won the Champions League as a player. I mean, one of the generals in this in this in this thing, football, in football. I mean, how long will he last as as, as manager? Kevin? Till death. <laughs> three years. Three years. Yes. <laughs> You know, and then so there's rumors that he's already uh, putting together his list. Ryan Sterling is one of them. Um, in the summer, do we see Ryan Sterling going to uh, Real Madrid? No. 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 The, unless they they offer him an ungodly sum amount of money. Yeah, because Man and, City and, was and reluctant. They, and they won't. And Man no. City was reluctant to offer him that ungodly amount of money coming off the World Cup, right? And we, we're going to talk about racism in football. You're yes. going to take a black. Englishman, yes, yes, and bring him into the heart of, of racism, Madrid yes, in, yes. in racism mm-hmm. central, right? Because I don't think Ryan Sterling wants to go anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but 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 remember, this is professional football. So if you offer me an ungodly amount of money, even though if I don't want to go, I have to. Yeah. Uh, my family take no, it. No, but no, Kevin, we, no, we, you don't, no, you don't, no, you don't have to. Yeah. Ryan is getting so much money. Listen, he is set for life. He's, he doesn't need to go somewhere. There's no where such thing. Ex- 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 but, but family. But ex- Especially at Real Madrid, we've seen in recent history Steve McManaman, yeah, David Beckham, um, Owen, Garrett Bale, uh-huh. Michael Owen, uh-huh. and, and, and no way, uh-huh. madness. Is, so is David Beckham set for life? Yeah, but all right. Did he have a good time in Madrid? It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. What what people need to understand is that this is professional football. Yeah. So at the end of the day. You know these folks, you know. I mean, we say that they have, a, you know, they have a decent amount of money. They pay high taxes and so forth and so on. Right. But if I have an opportunity, as Ryan Sterling or his agent or his family member, and say, listen, this people is offering you a hundred and fifty million dollar. I don't care what it's gonna be like down there. I don't care if them cut him in the two weeks <laughs> or two months. This is unheard of money. You're not going to make it again. So, 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 so wait, wait, wait. Let's not talk about it. Sorry. Ryan Sterling continues to play at the level that he's playing now at Manchester City. I can see Raheem getting a contract for maybe another five years that would be worth a whole bunch of money. It's where he lives, where all his family is from. He's comfortable there. Liverpool fans then finally stop booing and call him Snake. I would leave. And also to come on, but guess what? He can mm-hmm. also break his leg in the next two months. Yeah, yeah. And so we'll yeah. see... We, we we will see in the in the summer in the summer month. I mean the months if if an offer will be made. But the word is that he's one of the targeted players. So quickly, is Gareth Bale, Luka Modric, Marcelo, Benzema? They're all done at Madrid. Even Isco. Isco. Are they all done at Madrid? No. Is is Pelican Benzema wants Bale? Even I think I think even even Chelsea goalie. <laughs> even Cotto is Kota. done. And Navas. Uh, yeah. And Navas. So it's so pretty much Zinedine Zidane is gonna be cleaning house in the summer. And that's why I think it's only gonna be three I mean, years. This this year, this season was an embarrassment. Yeah, yeah. He should. He should. Uh, so Mr. Mbappe, get ready. Yeah, you'll be, yeah. you'll be in my yeah, team. Yeah, better get. All right, to segue from uh, football in Europe, let's segue to. Uh, How does racism does not apply to Mbappe now? <laughs> Mbappe. No, it, 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 it applies to him. So what? But I just want you, a Sterling guy, to go on record on ball chat and say you won't cry racism when he goes to Madrid and they, and they are racist against him. No, I cry racism all the time. Right. Barca is one of the most racist <laughs> clubs in them fans, especially, so I don't care. Okay. <laughs> segue to football in the Americas. We could talk about this, but, but maybe Sterling happy in City. In Man City. I think so. I yeah, think he is. I think he's happy. I, I think, think he's found a home. He's yeah. very much happy. And if they keep winning major trophies, till he miss a penalty. If no, if he if he wins the Champions League this year, I mean he he gonna be fine. He don't worry about. It. Football in the Americas, Concacaf Champions League. <laughs> Do we have to? <laughs> the harder the day. All the MLS teams are out except um, Sporting Kansas, still carrying the flag. Atlanta United and um, our coach, uh, Frank De Boer, are out. Our coach said we're spoiled. Is that is that something we want to hear from our coach? Whole therapy, by the way. Whole huh? therapy. 
therapy was okay. Okay. I think I need another therapist though. Okay, cool. This one is you not might, working. You might, you might need a, a next session after today. And so Atlanta United plays the Philadelphia, uh, Philadelphia Union later on. This, uh, But I want to hear your thoughts on this CONCACAF Champions League and your assessment. You know, Santos Laguna is through, Tigres is through, Monterey and Sporting Kansas City are through. I mean, it seems like it's going to be a... You know, Mexican trophy, pretty much. As usual. Didn't you expect it to go that way, though? I was hoping Atlanta United could win. No, I'm talking. I'm not talking about hope. I'm talking about expectations. <laughs> yes, I expected um, the Mexican teams to take it. In the in the semifinal match of Santos, will play Tigres, and Sports in Kansas City will play Monterey. So you guys have no comment on on this on the the recent matchups. Was that no, like, was that the expected? No comments on Frank the Worst saying the Atlanta United fan base was spoiled or spoiled or having to come back. And I apologize. have one comment on that, real quick, real real quick. As a Manchester United fan, yeah. I witnessed a guy from the Netherlands got the keys, got the keys to the to a Ferrari, and said, "I'm going to drive this like an '86 Cadillac." <sighs> And you are going to like they it have Cadillac in the Netherlands? <laughs> I, obviously, he thought he had a Cadillac. You mean horse and buggy? Or he has a horse and buggy. One horse. <laughs> one blind horse. The boy strikingly reminds me of, of LVG as a Manchester United fan. Yeah. You are slowing down Cincinnati. We sat down and said, sacrificial lamb. You're going to keep, you scored early against Cincinnati. And you just slow the pace down and said, Cincinnati, come at me. You attack me and you get a late equalizer come on man this is lvg 2.0 yeah it's a bit early though it's, it trust me it's not it's, it's not it's, it's, it's not. not looking very good atlanta united even made all of us probably look like a baller last week that you witnessed up front yeah it was not impressive so i get whole therapy I need another therapist. Okay. I need another therapist. Well, panic setting in already in a common one. You're, you're listening to this come on? Oh, but it was expected. <laughs> I mean, we have higher expectations. And when we have a coach that says that we're spoiled and then equate us to Toronto FC and Toronto 2.0, I don't need that's to an hear insult. That's, an, that's an insult in itself. That's, yep. I, don't, I don't need to hear that from a high end, highly paid. Yeah, if I need to hear that, I'll hire Tapa with more any day. Because Tapa will cost us and tell us about our club. We're and he would take a lot him. less money. <laughs> I don't need to hear this from a highly paid Frank De Boer. So Atlanta United need to win today. I need to win emphatically against one of the struggling teams, Philadelphia Union. Else, I mean, who knows? Frank De Boer will be on a leash shot. Leash. Um, MLS Roundup. DC United beat the big up Shrek. <laughs> say it. DC, Kevin, say it. Say DC big up Shrek. United. I don't big up anybody in a pom pom shot. <laughs> <laughs> DC United, Wayne Rooney and his pom pom shot. Shrek defeated Real Salt Lake 5 0. Yo. Um, they were absolutely remember, impressive. Remember that Real Salt Lake was playing, they were playing with nine men. Yes. Yes. That's with not our problem. Nine. Yeah, no, but let us, let us put it in context. Yeah. This is my, is my side, but we certainly was playing with nine men. And, and Minnesota finally lose a game. They lost to um, LA Galaxy 3-2. Minnesota, Darwin Quintero, sorry. But I mean, they, they put up an exception. Finally, this is their third game, right? Or second yeah, game? they won the, the first. They won the first two and they lost it. Hey, okay. finally. I, I don't understand all of these superlatives who won two weeks in the season. Hey, look, Minnesota last year was bottom of the pile, all right? This year, the man in my shot. San Jose continued to struggle in the MLS. The new coach Chivas, they were the, the new coach from Chivas, said it's early days yet. Yeah, it's, exactly. <laughs> yeah, he said what Kevin says. Exactly. Listen, the MLS season is one of the longest football seasons, isn't it? Come on, are we aware of um, San Jose's goal difference? <laughs> Why are we talking about San Jose? Listen, San Jose needs to go and get Brian Brown, who plays for Reno, who is their affiliate um, club, and bring him to school because San Jose just sucks. He can't, he can't get any players from Reno. Reno don't play in a major league. <laughs> no, well, actually, no, it should be free. No, 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 but, no, 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 but you have MLS teams who have USL as their feeder clubs, like okay, uh, affiliate. Okay. So they can always sign Brian Brown. I mean, Brian won't come up because it's... No, I have one baller and I ball field and can't sign Jiggy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Jiggy's a cricketer. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. No. So, so San Jose really needs help. I think they were last last season and they just didn't look good. Wanderlowski is, I'm not impressed by him. I don't know how people just think he's a very good footballer. No, he's, he's old now. Okay, he's old. He's old now. Yeah, Chivas, uh, San Jose was last. La- they finished at the bottom last year and they will be at the bottom this year at this rate. So, so they are where they were? Consistency. Yeah, they are, they are there. <laughs> MLS needs a relegation. It needs relegation. Really, some of these teams need to go out of my yard. <laughs> um, a quick wrap up on football in America is Jamaica, CONCACAF, um, Nations League return this week. Most of the major leagues are on international break. Jamaica plays El Salvador, El Salvador next week, Saturday. Big up GFF. Um, <laughs> in El Street Face. Big up with that camera. Big up GFF. Jamaica plays. Finally, do what I said. Jamaica plays El Salvador. They have a friendly game against Costa Rica on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Isn't that the, the, it's kind of lopsided, right? How you, so? You, you you playing a strong team like Costa Rica yeah. uh, as a prep for a, a El Salvador game? No, but you will you go and play Costa Rica later uh, on in the nation as well. Maybe 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 El Salvador is strong these days. <laughs> <laughs> But, but, again, but, but we're laughing. When was the last time we beat El Salvador? 2005. Okay. When the last time we played with the friendly match down now. Um, it was 1-1. One, one. So we can, we can discredit El Salvador all the one, especially playing El Salvador in El Salvador. But come on, that was a good El Salvador. What's the brother name from um, MLS? Was it Marco Papa or whatever his name? Mm-hmm. That was a good El Salvador. This is highly, pa- that, that was a highly ranked El Salvador. Yeah, this is Patty Shop El Salvador. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, and, and Jamaica is top notch. Okay, all no. right. We're not, we're not Patty Shop, though. We are Captain Bakery. So, any thoughts on this? <laughs> any, any thoughts on this El Salvador game? I mean, Jamaica is sitting, what, fifth in the Nations League ranking. They need to finish, what, in the top nine to actually qualify for the, 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 the Group A Nations League. Mm-hmm. Any and I mean they're on track to make to the Group A of the Nations League, so I mean they should should you know see this thing out. I I don't know who's in the squad. We know who is not getting in the squad, and I big up GFF for that. Big up GFF. Oh, <laughs> Leon GFF. We don't um, need you. Well, 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 finally. Based, based based on the free kick that we saw today, he might just need to get squeezed in. Squeezed hey, in which part? GFF. See the camera right there. You need to put in a call to Kyle. <laughs> Since you can't get me you can't get Quark or catch him shot. Which Kyle? Butler. I thought you meant that Kyle had money. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I can't so, be a butler. So, so, <laughs> go ahead, so, come on. So, so, so Benton, yes. so it, it, it kinda, it's kind of strange when I was looking at the Nation League qualifying team. Like, Curacao was on top with a goal difference of 21, right? So, Haiti, Second, uh, 16, Canada third with 14, Cuba fourth with 14 too, and Jamaica fifth with 11. So we need to bang in the goals. We need to score the goals against El Salvador, who's 13th um, on six points. I don't know if we're going to score as many goals against the Curse. Can, can we just beat El Salvador? <laughs> <laughs> I think I want love. But, but, but we have we have the strikers to do it. We have Darren Mattox who is banging in the goals in MLS. Beep, beep. And we have Corey Burke doing the same thing. Hey, so hey, hey. Darren Mattox is Come on, on, stop it. <laughs> stop it. Cartel. Cartel Darren Mat- da- da- Darren Cartel Mattox. Yeah, yeah. bleacher. Mm-hmm. Stop it, come on. I mean Darren Jamaica, Mattox. J- Jamaica's drug bar. And then who to tell? Romario might get a call. Oh my god. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Alright, see now this is weird. Ball chat is going off the rails here. <laughs> JFF, you might have to recut today. <laughs> Kyle, where are you, Kyle? That's right. Why not? Why not? Can I catch Quark and catch him shots? Or the guy that washes it anyway. What does play though? Congrats, JFF. Yeah, so the a big step reggae boys will play um, El Salvador next Saturday. And this game will be on CONCACAF Go. You know? And and then they play Costa Rica. They prior to that they play Costa Rica on Tuesday. So sh- we'll we'll wait and see how they see how they go about it. I mean, you know. All right. To to wrap up our show, we're gonna do our power ranking. And um, in the ten position, we have PSG. 
9 position Benfica, 8 position Spurs, 7 position Napoli, and the 6 position Porto, 5th position we have Juventus, and 4th is Arsenal. Imagine that. What the chocolate would say too. <laughs> Third position, big bad, the Champions League title bound, Barcelona sitting in the third position. Number two playing Liverpool is in the <coughs> second position. Inside a play number two. Leading the EPL. And number one position this week is Manchester City. Stephen goal against um Swansea, but Pep said he feels sorry for them. He should he doesn't want to win that way. Tell us how you truly feel, Pep. No, then don't show up for the next game. Don't show up for the next game. Just give Swansea the winnings. <laughs> yeah, just don't show up for the next game, man. Can't see. Don't, yeah. don't give me free speech. Give Swansea the winning. Ball Chat, follow us. Link us on social media. Ball Chat 1 on Twitter. Ball Chat Podcast on Instagram. Ball Chat on YouTube. Like and share. Ball and Chat on Mixcloud. Check out our new Off the Field with General Manager. Of the reggae girls, Miss Jean Nelson, done by a wonderful come on. Bridgen, ball chat again. Reno. Ball chat, we're out. Relegated, brother. We're out like Reno. <laughs> <laughs>